You can fit a water ball on there and a couple Sammies. Hello everybody coming at you with all my might. It is might. How you guys doing today? Today I wanted to show you guys my new tank bag from Kemimoto. There's a link in the description below. But basically I got this so I can hold my camera supplies and maybe like a drink or something like that. It's got this nifty little charging port so I can wire up and have power inside the bag. Without further ado, let's get riding. So yes, it's actually a rather large bag, but it does not get in the way at all for me on the F800GS, which is a nice thing because my fuel tank is in, the, in my seat. So, haha! <laughs> I don't even have to unhook this sucker. But if you do have to unhook it, it does have these nifty little buckles that you can unhook and take it all right off. It's got neoprene over top of the buckles so you don't scratch up your paint. What really made me want to get a tank bag is when I'm doing off-roading stuff like this, I have a tail bag that I put on because I don't like to run hard luggage when I'm off-roading. Mostly because if I go down and I ruin a set of $800 Vario cases, I am going to be insanely upset. I've already went down once with the case on and it, it was in like soft uh, leaves and stuff like that. Didn't scratch the case, but I've heard stories of people just, just destroying their Vario cases. And that's not something that I wanted to do. Looks like someone's already been out here on this road. So once we zip around here to the bottom, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So there it is. We got these nifty neoprene covers over top of the buckle so they're not nice and out of the way and they're not going to scratch your bike. Yeah, on all of your buckles you have that. You can unhook this and it has an extra strap they can use as a backpack. I forgot to bring that. So let's open it up and look inside. There's a lot of room and it even expands by taking this zipper. Doing that, let's zip this up and boom, look how much bigger that sucker gets. So you can put a lot of crap in there. And then when you get caught in a torrential downpour, there is this nice little packet right here and you can have, whoop, you slide that over there and boom. That'll protect you from the, the heavy rain, but that's pretty neat to have. Especially the price point that this uh, bag is. Not to mention you get an extra 15% off when you use the code in the link in the description below. Now let's jump back on and rip back up the hill. That's one of my biggest complaints is, is when I was without my Vario cases, I can't haul near as much, clearly, but I don't like wearing a backpack. Because when you're wearing a backpack, then you have all of the stuff that you have in there bouncing around on your back. And then it's just annoying. I, I rode with a guy and his tool kit fell off the back because he didn't have it tied down properly and then he had to wear it as a backpack. So it was just not fun. Where this, I could put my lunch in there, some canner supplies, and it's, it's not bouncing around on my back. It's protected. Well, like I said, it's rather large, so you can fit like, I wouldn't suggest a can of soda if you're riding off road, but you can fit a water ball on there and a couple Sammies, along with your camera supplies. And you're not gonna bash up your Vario cases. But my tail is already taken by my tool case. I like to keep it nice and tidy so it's a small kit with just everything I need to change tubes, repair tires, inflate them. But that's all I carry in that. <laughs> so 
So it's nice to have a nice, clean, tidy off-road setup. That's, that's what I'm going to use. And not to mention, like, when I pull over, I can reach in here and grab my camera. I don't have to get off, grab my key, and unlock my case. It's nice to have a lock in case, but if you just want something real quick, it's, it's a pain in the butt to have to pull your key out. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the ride. I hope you enjoyed the bag. Well, I mean, there's no way for you to enjoy it. It's, it's mostly for my pleasure, but hooks up simple. It stays on there. It's totally out of the way for me. And if, like I said, if you, if you do have a bike where you need two axis, your fuel tank you got you just unhook the buckles which you can squeeze through the the neoprene and boom access to your tank if you had a tank well that's what i got for you today don't forget if you want one of these bags they're 15 percent off with the code below and there's a link in the description thank you so much for watching have a nice day and god bless